and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some mono black discard over in Mythic. We've been uh, having some some rough times here with our last couple of decks in Mythic. We're going to try to play some mono black discard to um, bring us back. So what this deck's all about, it's all about reducing our opponent's resources, um, getting rid of all the cards in their hand. Um, it's not only just discarding the spells, but lands also make it difficult for them to continue to hit land drop and have more spells to play. Because, you know, we have Vicious Rumors, Burglar Rat, Urox Fenlurker, you know, all of these early that they, they're just discard any card. So even though like like one of those cards is not really that good that the opponent just, you know, discards like an extra land. Um, but then like the second one really starts making their hand look a lot worse. And then if we have a third one, you know, maybe get a Davriel in there, make them discard a card there. We can really mess up our opponent's hands. And that's what we're trying to do here. So we're trying to make all we're trying to like, basically our deck doesn't look the most powerful, but what our deck really does is it, it makes our opponent's uh, hands and like their, their uh, turns a lot worse. Cause they just don't get to, it makes it a lot harder for them to curve out uh, after having to discard uh, a bunch of cards. Um, and then in the late game, and then like basically afterwards, we can turn these, these things, these uh, creatures, these burglar rat, Urox, fen lurkers that already made them discard we can turn them into more resources by either having Midnight Reaper, so whenever they die, we get to draw more cards, or a Yara, um, again, can sacrifice them to have us draw cards. <clears throat> and uh, so that's so that's how we kind of start pulling ahead. To finish the games out, we have either Davriel's uh, first trigger or Rankle that finishes the games out. This deck is, is really looking to maximize Rankle. Rankle is a really big part of our deck. This is like the this is like the card that we want to be curving into all the time. Um, every single mode in this on this card is just awesome for us. You know, obviously the the discarding. If they continue to have even more cards in hand still after this, making them discards good. <clears throat> um, the sacrificing is really good whenever we have these cheap creatures that we really don't care about that we can sacrifice. And so if they have a threat that you know got underneath our discard spells and everything we can make them sacrifice it and then even the both both players draw a card that can be really useful um if they're empty-handed and we have like a davriel in play or another burglar rat fenlurker or vicious rumors in hand we can uh, just say we both draw a card so now they have one card and then we just activate our davriel or play one of those other cards and just make them discard it where we still drew a card so Rankle is a, is a real key in this deck here. We're only playing 23 lands. Like so this is this is not very many lands cuz we're tr we're trying to overload with a bunch of spells, but we're still playing a couple of six drops because we have the card advantage with Midnight Reaper, Ayara, Rankle, and uh, sometimes the games can go a little longer. Um, so we can usually still hit our land drops pretty reliably. Um, sideboard we got drill bits for um, spell heavy decks to get even even extra discard in here you know your fires of invention type decks against creatures we have or against like um, cauldron familiar decks we got cry of the carnariums and legion's ends but then against just your other aggro decks legion's ends disfigures some noctus grass if we need those and then a fourth duress as well so let's see how mono black discard treats us here let's go ahead and try to try to rebuild our rank We've been, as you can see here, we are one in seven so far today. We haven't been the luckiest, but I like this deck a lot. So let's give this a try. Mono black discard. All right, pretty good hand. So the, the thing is, do we lead with Duress or Vicious Rumors? It's kind of a tough call. The Vicious Rumors is always going to make them discard. We want to make sure that Duress hits. Okay. Whoops. I meant to play the Swamp. So they, so this looks, you know, so this looks to be a Gruul aggro deck, which may not be playing very many spells. So there's, there's definitely a chance that Duress just misses. Uh, well, unfortunately, they discarded an ambush. So I was thinking, like, you know, a card like Embercleave would be a pretty big problem. 
So I was thinking of like waiting on Duras to give them another draw step. Um, to maybe have Duress have another target, but I guess mm, they did a good job discarding the ambush. That's that's why that was just a tough call. So if I if I would have led with Duress, maybe you know we get to take the ambush and then Vicious Rumors discards one of these other cards. All right, Storm, have a good night. Our our worst matchup with this deck, though, as we've talked about before, like previously when playing this deck. One of our worst matchups really is Gruel Aggro, because <laughs> they put a lot of pressure out on you. And we we like to play against your like your slower decks, like your Fires of Invention, stuff like that. Um, but that, that being said, it doesn't mean that we can't win this. I'm just saying this is not a match I would like to face. I'm going to lead with this. Especially Gruel aggro with Growth Chamber Guardian. That's different. Alright, so they look to have a, a bunch of spells in hand. I don't want them to be able to grow this up, this pup collector. With the, with that thing dying, so gotta just respond there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Growth Chamber Guardian, not not a great card for us to see. Well, if they would play the Growth Chamber Guardian first, they could have made this Paul Collector a two-two, and then with that dying, it would turn into a three-three. Hmm. Millennium God with the Twitch Prime sub, but thank you so much there, Millennium God. I appreciate that. Well, I wish I could double spell. Unfortunately, we've really drawn, like, our top end. Our our curve is, is pretty low. A lot of ones and twos, but... Yeah, my my curve was not not so good this this game here, and I I basically mulliganed myself by not doing anything with this duress. That's a card I'll be boarding out. Yeah, gruel's a pretty yeah gruel's pretty strong. It's a good deck. Down to three. No, I don't think it's as good in standard as it is in historic now. That was a great draw. That was a great draw. And we, we will have four of these after sideboarding. So 
my sub count behind? Oh, it is. Yeah, that was number 14. Thank you. Alright, come on, get this land. Be able to play this Liliana. There we go. This isn't your Man, a Legion's end was big game. Exile all four of them. Ugh, stop. Yeah, I made this deck. The problem is like another haste creature. So I'm, I'm not sure if I want to, obviously we're both gonna sacrifice here. I'm gonna make them discard and we both sacrifice. It's just, I'm not sure which one I want to, to sacrifice. It's better to have this. Better to have this rankle out in general, but if they just top deck another spellbreaker, I should probably protect against the spellbreaker. It's a lot better to have the rankle in, though. Alright, just hope they don't top deck spellbreaker. They were a lousy servant anyway. Ooh, they drew Hellkite. Make this quick. I'm bored already. Smelly, but effective. I didn't have seven mana last turn, Mafu, to, to be able to play, to say, sack with Rankle and discard with Davriel. I didn't have that much mana to play both of those the previous turn. I had six mana at the time. All right, so Legion's End. Yeah, like that, that Legion's End that we top decked was just amazing. So yeah, let's bring in uh, the Disfigures, the Noxious Grasp, the extra Legion's Ends. We'll cut the Duresses. This may not be the best Davriel matchup with them being aggressive and being able to attack Davriel very easily. We take those out. I mean, the easy thing is easy thing is take out a Liliana. Take out a castle on the draw. I'm not activating castle. We'll see how 22 lands treats uh, treats us with still with a couple six drops, but Midnight Reaper gets us extra cards. Well, I'm glad we cut a land. Looks like 
will be just fine on land. So I don't really mind keeping the five lander because that means there's only 17 lands out of the 53 cards left. So that's less than a third of our deck are lands. So hopefully two out of three, you know, if we draw two out of three spells, I mean, the rest of the deck is two out of three spells. So if we keep on doing that over time, that should be good. Yeah, CV Sack just in time for Mono Black. We got a good win there. That last game. My opponent decides that they only need five cards against my discard deck. That's a bold strategy. We'll see how that pays off for him. It could work. I mean, if I just draw the other 16 lands in my deck. Um... Am I from the Midwest, I guess? Yeah, I was born in Iowa. That's why my wonderful cat is named Hawkeye. really awkward here with Murderous Rider Disfigure. Because if I, if I swift end the Spellbreaker last turn, then the Pelt Collector would grow and we wouldn't be able to disfigure it anymore. So just a pretty awkward situation. But hopefully with opponent only having two cards now, hopefully we can still stabilize. Cindervine's annoying. I'm really glad we I cut a land. Well, maybe I'm not glad I cut a land. Maybe this isn't working because I cut a land. Yeah, I guess I meant two... Two lands every three cards, not two spells every three cards. Obviously, the, the, if this doesn't work, we're pretty dead. Okay, good. So now there's now there's three and a half spells for every land. Or two and a half, sorry. Get rid of that Hellkite. That's a good draw. Normally we'd be able to just be activating Castle, but that Cinder Vines kind of makes me not want to do that.
a Yara's good. So Cinder Vines has done three damage to us so far, but we've also gained three life, because that's thing says gain one life, this thing says gain one life, and now the Ayara gained a life, so we haven't been too too hurt by the Cinder Vines yet. Oh, right. That doesn't fight. Meh. Maybe I should have just activate a castle last turn. That was probably a waste of his figure, but. I want to get cards out of my hand, of course, because of Castle. Alright. Here we go. We're starting off with a win. We're getting back on the right track. We get a pack even. Yeah, we just had to get back to mono black. I was like playing different mono black decks, and mono black discard is really sweet. Yeah, the run starts now. We need one more, and then it'll be a winning streak. Yeah, whenever I first started building this, I like whenever I first started making it, yeah, I was thinking of having it be blue black and yeah, disinformation campaign and stuff and just kind of realized that that's basically all I really wanted in blue and and then just move towards mono black. Just go with the Davriel and just start make that, making them discard some of these cards. Make it harder to play this the Great Henge. If you surrender now, I'll still have time for tea. Let's tidy up in there. Um. Well, one that's awesome. They discarded the Great Henge. That's great for me. A question, do you think that some of your decks perform better or worse depending on your rank? Not really. Decks perform better or worse depending on what you play against, but I wouldn't say necessarily that that you play against specific decks in you know, gold rank, other decks in platinum ranked, other decks in diamond, other decks in mythic. I think kind of all the ranks people play, kind of all the decks. Um... So, so no, I don't, I don't think so. But 
but I, I could be wrong. Is a terrific thing to waste. Loneliness can hurt. Yes, yeah, these harpooners are, are bad for my wrinkles for sure. I'm glad I didn't just play wrinkle last turn though, and they would just harpoonered it. Yeah, you know, we got they played a harpooner out, plus they discarded a harpooner. The thought. I'm gonna keep the swift end up here instead of playing the burglar at where the burglar at could we could make our opponent discard another card this next turn. So any tips on quickly accumulating wild cards for being free to play? Um, I mean, really, just the best thing to be doing is is to be playing the the constructed events where you know, like where you enter with a thousand gold and you can win gold um you know either best of one or best of three whichever one you you're more com uh confident in and Could be just really greedy using this already. And then, you know, like, especially I, I prefer the the best of three event myself, but the best of three event, like, you can win a good amount of gold there, and then, and then with you winning gold, you're able to buy packs for wild cards and stuff. Playing ranked is not, is not good for your your collection you don't really win anything except for just like at the end of the month it's it's not a good use of time or resources if you're trying to acquire new cards rank does a really bad job of that they didn't oh yeah that thing's something sick i was like they didn't attack with order of midnight that's right because i killed the other one There we go. That's why Wrinkle's awesome. Get to just we got to just keep drawing cards, but then we just make our opponents discard the cards that they draw. Got to really got to exile in this matchup. So we're gonna play these all the legions ends and a couple cry of the Carnariums also. Got to exile.
<laughs> Change the deck name to Mono Black Burn. Yeah, rank. Yeah, that's. This deck is just all about Rankle. Like, we, we're trying to take a full advantage of everything with Rankle here. Um, I don't. Like, their deck can get tons and tons of resources, which is not really what we want to be playing against, so. I don't love my chances for games two and three here, but we'll see. Yeah, Wrinkle really is the master prankster. We were giving them hope by letting them draw cards and then take it away with the discard. That prankster. Yeah, I, I mean... You could play, yeah, you could play blue-black and get Thought Erasure, then Disinformation Campaign, but if you want to play Campaign, you got to play a lot more Surveil cards. Um, basically, I just kind of settled on mono-black, just to have, like, a really good mana base where you're not taking damage ever from your lands. Um, but then you also get to play all the castles. You don't have to worry about, like, you know, having too many blue lands or too many black lands, any of that kind of stuff. Just like the consistency here. Very good quality hand for my opponent, looks like. Hmm. land well, this isn't good now I want to draw land and be able to play rat fen lurker but basically basically it's not good if they have questing beast I mean obviously they have questing beast but they have the land for questing beast you, you understand what I'm saying okay there we go hopefully they discard questing beast that'd be good discard questing beast discard the beast no. Get rid of the beast. Beast. No. <laughs> uh. Alright, so they did... I guess they did exile a beast. It's just the wrong beast. Hmm. You block there, you block there. Okay. Alright, Noxious Grasp. Where's all my Noxious Grasps? Yuck. Not there. I think, I, yeah, I only have two Cry of the Carnarium, so we're not going to be able to just draw another Cry of the Carnarium. You know, that would be quite ideal. Let's trample.
Where were you at? Okay, I still like what we got going on here. Don't think I need disfigure. I don't know, maybe I'm supposed to be playing disfigure though. You know, it allows my little bit smaller creatures to trade with those bigger creatures they just had there. Basically just getting a, a one for one there with that cry of the carnarium. Good. No questing beast. No other one ones. That's good. I don't really know how I'm going to do with that. deal with that at the Great Henge, though. We're going to discard Midnight Reaper here. I kind of want to say we both lose a live draw, so if I draw a land, I can go land Fenler, you know, Fenlurker Vicious Rumors. I guess that doesn't make a lot of sense to do that. They got rid of the Great Henge? Oh my gosh. Oh, what a tease. I thought, you know, it showed that they were getting rid of the Great Henge at first. Uh, that's their best card for sure. Yeah, I, I can't really beat the Great Henge. This is going to be a tough one. Huh. Alright, I realize that my plan's not going to really work very well. I guess we'll be fine. I'll just have to dis I just have to discard this Murderous Rider. I, I don't want to discard the Murderous Rider. I Maybe I was supposed to... Okay, good. We got Noxious Grass. We're good. 
But obviously, I want to get that Order of Midnight out of here. Really do not want them to be able to pick Lovestruck Beast back up and then get the 1-1 token. Yeah, draw a card on your turn. Do it. All right, now be something that costs more than three mana, so we make you discard it. So I'm going to just try to get aggressive here. Obviously, I don't need to kill that thing. I'm not protecting against... Um, a haste threat like a questing beast, but I think we just get aggressive here. Ah, that's that's what they get for making for drawing. Then you gotta wait on that. Boo! Wait, do they still get to draw a card if if their creature's dead? They don't get to put the counter on it. Ah, darn! They still do. Yeah, that Harpooner was a great draw. But I, you can see that just this life from the Great Henge is a huge problem for me. Huh. They didn't activate their castle first to draw that? Didn't they just scry that to the top? Or did they scry to the bottom? Alright, can we draw Noxious Grasp? No. Uh, yes, you can craft Burning Tree Emissary, Horatio. There's there's no reason why you should not be able to craft that card. So they did scry to the top. I guess they just didn't... I don't know, they didn't want to discard something else, but Vicious Rumors was just going to mill it over. Maybe they, maybe they didn't realize that Vicious Rumors was milling it over. Oh, wow. That could be wonderful. All right, we need to just draw a black creature, which all of our creatures are obviously black, so we just need to draw a creature. Come on, creature. Uh, that's not quite a creature. <laughs> uh, one mana short. I guess we have to do this, but now they're going to be able to gain another two life. Servants, your corpse will volunteer. But I think we have to do this. Ugh, we've been so close to winning all these times. But now all they need is a questing beast to kill me, and obviously that's their top deck. Uh, that's how today's been going. So close. All we need was any black creature. Uh, any creature in our deck. Which we had not drawn very many creatures that game, to be fair. It's not like we had gone through all of our creatures or anything. Yeah, that, that Great Henge was just incredible.
All right, we just got to draw one more land. Where's all the fire? We were, we've been playing like nothing but Fires of Inventions decks earlier, and now we're playing a deck that I think has a really good Fires of Invention matchup, but we just can't get paired against it now. All right, DJ, have a good night. They exiled the red source. Interesting. I leave the Golgari now. Step aside. Don't be surprised if we meet again. <laughs> yeah, I need dispersal. Make them discard that the Great Henge. Hmm. Um. Uh, obviously, need to kill this Corvold as fast as possible. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure, Slacker Dan. There's there's tons of of good options to to kind of play. It's you know. It's really difficult to just recommend decks because everybody's play style is different. People enjoy different things. Like that's that's definitely a huge thing is enjoying what you're playing. That's definitely necessary. Come on, Arena. Come on, computer. I want to give it some time to clear up. All right, there we go. Cleared up. All right, so they got to just draw three cards there, but they're down to just three lands, like with having to do all that sacrificing. Two Corvolds out of here also. I'm mysterious. Ref Let me pick your brain for a minute. All I've left you is pain. I think I just take the trade. Cause I get to draw a card. Give me more. Try to give me more mana. So obviously, that's what I need. Right, a boot now. Um. Yeah, I mean, it's just um, the. There's like the the standard metagame. There may be something there appeals to you. Hmm. I don't have a great option here. Rankle would have been my great option. I guess it's just play Davriel and and sit back, I guess. The mask is scary, but underneath I'm just a normal diabolist. Struggling. Good.
I don't think we'll be able to really... Legions end away this Cauldron Familiar. But we're gonna try. Ugh, what a whiner. All right. After they, you know, sack, after they had the Corvold sacked all those lands, all they did was just draw more, more lands, a couple Paradise Druids, and the Witch's Oven. Not good enough. Yes, yes, my yep. If I choose Sacrifice with Rankle, my opponent could use Oven. I guess. Yeah, they could. Yep, they could. So yeah, attack, yeah, attacking with Murderous Rider did nothing um, because they would just block it with the 1-1 one, one and then sacrifice their 1-1 one, one to the Witch's Oven. So it, we weren't going to even gain any life, do any damage, but holding Murderous Rider back means we got to protect Avriel. So we got to do something. We have to be able to kill... Corvold. This is really not like that great of a just a vicious rumors Davriel matchup. Like this is this is the worst vicious rumors matchup in the format because of just discarding uh, Cauldron Familiar is very easy. I mean, I like the seven. Can I just keep these seven cards? I like these. Yeah, just because Cavalier of Knights is pretty expensive. I don't have it in here. Yeah, it's been doing that to me all day. We've ha we've had so many zero and one landers today. It's been crazy. So many of those with the Jeskai mid range deck. And, you know, we're a twenty six land deck with that one, and they're just all over the place. Unfortunately, they have the Witch's Oven, so they still get to draw two. But getting these Midnight Reapers out of here... Still really important. So can't let them just keep those and draw other creatures and everything. And now we're unlocking our own Midnight Reapers that we could play. That hurts. It's 
loss will serve us. So I just have to fire this off just to be able to attack and kill this Vraska. But this this game's already over though. We're not gonna beat all the lands they have, all these all these foods and double trailer crumbs. No, this this game's just over. We can't beat all that with three lands. Like this is just insane amount of card draw with the double trailer crumbs. Alright, let's get all these duresses in on the play. Try to hit witches' ovens and trailer crumbs. Maybe I need all those. Maybe I need. Uh, hmm. But yeah, they they had an amazing hand. We had a mold of five, so that's. You know, whenever they have an amazing hand, it's good for us to have our mold of five game. Now, hopefully, I was going to say, hopefully we have, like, a, a decent hand, you know, and, you know, if we're going to have a mold of five, they might as well have, like, their really good hand. Because it doesn't matter as much. Man, if we just had two lands, we could keep this. Thanks, Shuffler. Thank you, thank you. It is miserable. Obviously, they're the mana creatures. It was either, you know, put back Wrinkle or put back Cry of the Carnarium. Cry would be good if they just led with, a, you know, turn one mana creature, turn two mana creature. I'd want the Cry on turn three. Or that. Yeah, this, this would have been a perfect Cry of the Carnarium hand. But five card hand, what are you going to do? It's the story of today. Sorry, need that land. Wanted to go land burglar right there.
Well, if we did have Mold of Five, we'd have a pretty good chance, seeing how just dominant this Rankle has been. Could have even just mulliganed to six and just been able to keep that Cry of the Carnarium that I would have been able to have earlier. It would have been pretty big. Yeah, Esper, I, I, I really like Esper Control in this metagame. I think they're, uh, yeah, I think that Esper has a lot of, has basically everything that it, it needs for the, the popular decks. I leave the Golgari now. Step aside or be crushed. As long as we win, nothing else matters. This is a good turn for my opponent. and make new comrades. <laughs> Good help is easy to find in war. Oh no, I did have it. Oh, I thought I was one short. I had it. Oh no, no, because I, I just made them lose one life to this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Because I was thinking... Because, yeah, because I could do four with this, and then Liliana Minus would deal two damage to them with the Midnight Reaper triggers. Um, but, yeah, so that I was not one short. Yeah, so I was one short. Okay. All right, we're good. We're, I was one short. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I was one short of lethal. They did not just add the green mana first. Okay. Got there. GG's. Even though we mulled the five, Rankle just won that. No, I didn't have lethal with Liliana. Liliana minus would have dealt two damage to them. 
because Mayhem Devil of Midnight Reaper would have dealt two damage to them. Oh, whoops. Um, but remember, whenever I... And so they were at seven. So Rankle can do four. Liliana Minus would have done two. So that would have done six damage total. So they would have gone down to one. Because whenever I ticked up Liliana, they took one from a Yara. Well, opponent, yeah, they couldn't They couldn't kill Rankle with Vraska. Vraska can only kill things that cost three or less, and Rankle costs four. So that's that's why, like, Rankle got to stay alive that whole time. No, Rankle would not do one more if I would have minus. If I, I mean, if I would have minus first, they could have killed the Rankle. They would have had four Mayhem Devil Triggers. So they could have also killed Rankle. So that's that's the problem with minusing is they would they would have killed my wrinkle. So I could only minus if it was going to be lethal. All right. Well, speaking of Esper, it looks like we're playing against Esper control here. Not the best place to have Liliana in your opening hand for this deck, but. Hey, what's up, Campfire? Hope everything's going great over there. Hey, Tech Row. No, nope, nobody plays Null High Ferox. That would be a very bad card for me to see. That's for sure. Cool. I think they have Veto for how they like shocked in earlier. I, I was thinking they had Veto, which is why I didn't play Davriel. All right, back on Trusion Point. Kickstarter for Fate of the Elder Gods almost done. That's awesome. Love it. Uh, no, not not on Arena. I don't think there will ever be two v two on Arena. No, I don't think so. Uh, no, sweet Matt, that's not what that, that COPPA thing is. It has nothing to do with, like, for, for YouTube, all it is is just, you just have to, you have to just mark if your content is, is made for children or not made for children. And then if it's made for children, then, then there's different, uh, rules and regulations on, on stuff especially like advertisements and things like that. But uh, I mean, I'm not, my content isn't really made for children though. It's, you know, it's suitable for children, but it's not made for children. So there's, so like the, that new, the new <laughs> laws there for YouTube and stuff Rise. don't, don't apply. So that's that's how I just have my videos labeled as I don't have them labeled as made for children. Yeah, absolutely, campfire. I know more than you could learn in a thousand lifetimes. Okay. My plan. So even though I could, so I could Murderous Rider to kill this thing, and then I don't have to attack it. It basically saves them, you know, because they gain two life if I attack this thing. So it saves them, like, three damage. With us drawing the second Murderous Rider, I'm going to just go ahead and do that. 
since we have the second one. And of course, I'll just keep keep the castle activation going. Keep getting more cards. No, there's no, so there's there's no problem, sweet man. Oh yeah, I really like I really like this discard deck, Snare Crow. This is one of my favorite. Um, this is one of my favorite decks to play. Liliana. I do kind of think they still, I still kind of think they have that Dovin's veto that I thought about earlier, so there it is. Don't think that went away. Hopefully they don't have Cry of the Carnarium. But even if they do, I have Murderous Rider. That's, that's the reason to play the Murderous Rider. It's still, we still have two power attacker even through Cry of the Carnarium. And if it's Kaya's Wrath, we'll just draw a lot of cards. Yes, yeah, th there's always frames dropping. If you ever have frames dropping, it's it's on my end. Again, this, this weekend I'll be getting a new computer, hopefully by the weekend after, you know, be mailed, all mailed to me, I'll have it all built and ready to go. Sorry, so I'm bounce, ready. Oath of Kaya, replay it. That's not going to be enough life. That is true. If they just had Cry, they could go Cry and then play Fae of Wishes, but obviously I'd have the thing to kill the Fae. No, I've never built a computer before. Hey, Bleeding Black. Uh, let's see. So you built your first computer last summer. It was super fun. How, how long did it take you building your first computer? So obviously we want the fourth duress, four drill bits. Um, so all these cards are, are decent. Yep. Yep, waiting for the yeah, the Black Friday, Cyber Monday. You know, could buy it now, but you know, save save a uh, good amount of money by waiting. Just a few days, you know, You're waiting a week. Nice, Joko. Good. Okay, took you about four hours. That's not bad. Do, 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 do. 
don't really have any necessarily bad cards for this matchup. Take out a Murderous Rider, I suppose. And an Ayara and one land. Could maybe take out the other Ayara. Yuck. That's better. So which one do I put back? Ayara or Rider? Just safer to keep the removal spell. We'll do that. That's a good draw. But yeah, with this matchup here, you know, we got four duress, four drill bit, you know, even the four vicious rumors. Like, so four one mana card discard spells, and then our four Davriels. I like playing against control. Yeah, Sir Conrad's much too slow. Too expensive. For what Sir Conrad achieves. Hey, what's up, Justice? Thanks for that resub. 11 months now. Bringing the hype. Oh no. I do decree that that was a bad card for me. Oh, I'd love to draw Vicious Rumors. Ugh, darn. I was going to say Vicious Rumors because they kept this card on top. Alright, well, if they're shocking in here, they have to spark. Nailed it. All right, so they have to spark for Rankle. Hmm. All three of these cards are good. See, Narset, we get to Murderous Rider, but maybe I should have just take in the Narset. Because it replaces itself. There are so many must meditate and prepare. But I don't I don't like them being able to, you know, get multiple for one with Kaya's Wrath. It's not likely that this card was a land. They they kept it on top a little bit ago. Oh, it was a land. Okay. All right. So let's let's kill this thing, so I don't have to worry about it. Ugh. Darn. This would have been a, a perfect time to draw one of those twelve one mana discard spells, also. To be able to pair up with Rankle. Ugh. Well, of course, my plan was to just go Rankle, make them discard. But that means I'd have to discard Midnight Reaper, and I, I just can't discard Midnight Reaper. So Midnight Reaper basically makes them discard the, you know, like the Oath, you know, just trades with the Othakaya. And then I draw another card. The problem is now they have to spark for Wrinkle. But you never know. Maybe we'll draw like, Duress or something. Castle Lock Twain.
<laughs> Where's our discard spells? We have so many. Come on, computer. You can handle it. Fight through it. You got this. That's a pretty cool looking island. I wish that was a full art one. I wish they just had more of the basics that had card styles. Looks like my opponent's doing it for the Lils. Ow. Putrid, but effective. Hmm. Remember us sideboarding out of land? So it's good to get cards out of my hand, of course, because of castle. <laughs> Rise and shine. No. My wrinkle. Right, we need Murderous Rider. Nope. Yay. So I want to give my opponent the ability, the opportunity to maybe block, because thinking that they were going to draw a card. All right, gets another card out, makes it better for Castle. Uh, they kept that card on top. Vicious rumor time. Not quite. Not quite. I think it's pretty likely, yeah, it's pretty likely that's a, a Kaya's Wrath. That's definitely what it feels like with that block. Yay, Vicious Rumors! 
Ooh, it's a fay of wishes. Yeah, mill that over. Um, two, four, five, six. So I don't have lethal right now, but I do if I play this thing. So now they just top deck a land and we win. This card's so good. All right, they draw a land and, and we win. I guess I could have drilled bit first to protect against Settle the Wreckage. Yeah, they would just cast that. Yeah, because they could not have grabbed a Wrath from the sideboard. And they could have grabbed, like, Cry the Carnarium. But they could not have, or like, you know, they didn't have the mana for Fey plus Kaya's Wrath. So, yeah, I wonder what they wanted to get from the sideboard with the Fey. Tapping all the blue? Do you want to leave, like, one blue available? I mean, I guess they just need land Kaya's Wrath. Like, that's that's their only out here. We just need to draw another Vicious Rumors to do one damage to him. Or a Davriel. All right. There we go. Mono black discard. What's next week? And we get a pack of War of the Spark. I don't think I have all the mythics in War of the Spark, so hopefully we open a mythic. Yeah, I think like some of the finales I don't have four of, so. Come on, Mythic. Nah. The rare. <laughs> so there we go. So that's Mono Black Discard. This deck's a lot of fun to play. Um, you know, I like it there. I think it's good against the control decks. I do. I mean, I think, I think we got a, you know, just a ton of hand disruption and everything. And, you know, we just get those little creatures out there. And obviously Midnight Reaper is really good against sweepers. Um, you know, got the haste with Rankle. The Lilianas were awesome. This was something new for the deck. The, the previous times we've been playing it, we've been playing one, one Bola Citadel and a Scheming Symmetry. And we cut those two one ofs and replaced them with Liliana. So we talked about that at the end of the last time that we played it. And the Lilianas were just awesome for us. Really liked the card. Um, you know, the first part, we got to draw extra cards, but then the minus four against the Gruel creature deck. That was really important. So yeah, Lilianas were awesome. Um, yeah. Yeah, exactly, Jenny. Yep, I I do wish it, it told us what rare replaced too. Yeah, it, it doesn't matter, but that would be just kind of fun to know. Um, so yeah, went 3-1 over there in Mythic. And uh, this one definitely felt a lot better than our other two decks. But, um, you know, we're good at disrupting our opponents with this one here. Yeah, Scheming Symmetry was kind of just like a test card, but it... It pairs perfectly with Vicious Rumors. Like, whatever card they put on, on top of the library, you just have them mill it over, and then you you know, you know actually get to tutor. So that's awesome. But then also, yeah, with Citadel, it works really well with Citadel, of course. Because you even if you don't have a hand, you could tutor, like, Vicious Rumors on top with Citadel and then cast it. But um, it, also, it also paired really well with Wrinkle. Again, you know, like how you saw, like, with those games, like, there was times, like, that we were making our opponent draw a card... And then we would have them discard it. So like we, we, could, we could cast Scheming Symmetry. Like if we have Wrinkle and Davriel in play, for example, we cast Scheming Symmetry. Um, they go put something on top that they really like. And then we're like, all right, attack you. Go ahead and draw it and now discard it. Um, or, you know, like if it's just a cheap thing, you know, we, we draw our card also and then we have them discard it. So again, we could have like a, a Rumors or something like that. So it, it could do some like neat party tricks, but Liliana Dreadhorde General is just going to be a lot better. 
and we saw like we didn't really struggle hitting land drops like we had lots of lands all the time even though there's only 23 and even we were sideboarding out a land sometimes against the control decks that we knew the games were going to go longer we would side out a land and we were still hitting plenty and plenty of land drops so um yeah so that's good okay uh anyway so that's a uh, mono black discard awesome deck here and yeah you can uh, do good against all these we didn't get to play against fires of invention that was the one that i wanted that was really the matchup that i wanted to face but i think that we're pretty good against the fires of invention matchups um anyway uh if you're watching on youtube you know hit that like button over there uh sub and everything and of course leave those comments let me know what you think of mono black discard and of course i hope you check out the patreon page if you like my videos and want to help support um me making the uh, all these youtube videos every day it's just three dollars a month for uh signing up for the patreon um but uh thank you so much for watching some mono black discard and i'll see you for the next video